Hi everybody, thank you for, for joining me on my live video. This is Robert Harley and this is the Excel Your Life Show. Uh, tonight we're going to get right into our topic for tonight. Tonight we're going to talk about, or this morning, or today we're going to talk about um, life's five vital questions. Life's five vital questions. Now, before I get into the questions, uh, to what those questions are that we all should be asking ourselves, let me just uh, kind of, kind of uh, say things, a couple things before we get into that. One is we keep in mind that there's no God-made failures. There's no God-made failures. In in other words, whenever whatever God made, God didn't make anything to fail. God didn't make you to fail, God didn't make me to fail, he didn't make any any part of his creation to fail. Everything God made, he made with the intention for that thing or that person or that, you know, that animal, the plant, the tree, whatever he made, would made with the intention for that thing to succeed and to grow. So there's no God made failure, so don't see yourself as a failure. Two, there's no no such thing as luck. There's no such thing as luck. You know, um, uh, I heard one some one some. I heard someone say one time before that the, the acronym for for luck. The acronym for luck is labor under correct knowledge. You know, labor under correct knowledge. Just heard someone say that one time before. So there's no such thing as luck. Luck is with opportunity, when when luck luck. This is the definition of luck, is when opportunity um, when preparation meets opportunity. Luck is when oppor is when opportunity. I mean preparation. <laughs> luck is when preparation meets opportunity. That means when you prepare, when you prepared, you prepared, prepare yourself. And then when an opportunity comes along, because you're already prepared, you can take advantage of that opportunity and it achieves achieve success in your life. So it's it's when preparation meets opportunity. That's that's what luck is. You know, a lot of people say, Oh, that guy is lucky, or that girl is lucky. No, they're not lucky. They were just prepared for the opportunity. When an opportunity come along, they were just prepared for it. And they were, they were able they were in a position to take advantage of it. So there's no such thing as luck of luck, sorry, of luck. Luck is labor on the correct knowledge. Luck is just you being prepared. For when an opportunity comes along, you're in a position to take advantage of that opportunity. Third thing we want to say is that no one can make a failure out of you but you. No one can make a failure out of you but you. You see, only you can accept failure in your life. Only you can accept yourself as a failure. Remember, I said this before and I'll say this again. Failure is not a person. Failure is a, an event, not a person. So if you accept yourself as failure, as being failed, as something you might try something and fail at it, or maybe not really good at it, you know, if you accept that as failure, then you are the one who making yourself out to be a failure. No one else can do that but you. Do that to you but you. So remember always remember failure is an event not a person you are not a failure and go this goes back to what we said in the first what i said first first of all there are no god made failures so you're not you're not a failure god didn't make you that way you're not a failure i'm not a failure we might try things and fail at it but that doesn't make that and make that does not make you a failure and failure is part a big part of success. Find it. Find any, any highly f successful people in any field, in any field, in any you know profession. Find anybody. They'll tell you they fail their way to success. Failure is a big, big part of success. It's just that people don't accept themselves as see themselves as failure or accept the failure. They let that be a stepping stone towards their success. Anyway, so let's get back. Let's let's, let's get in now. 
to talking about the five vital questions of life. They are five questions that affect every human being, every human's life. These five questions affect everyone, the rich and poor, people of all color and cultures. They are questions for the, of the human heart. These five questions control everything about you. So what are these five questions? Number one, the first question we're going to look at. Now, this is going to be a little series because I'm not going to go into depth in all of these questions. I'm just going to kind of introduce these things and then over the next few days, we're going to talk about these each question individually. So, who am I? The first question is, who am I? This question has to do with identity. Until you discover who you are, you will always be defective. You must find out who you are. You, and you must go to God to find out the truth about who you are. Don't go to the world because they don't know, they don't know who you are. The world don't know who you are. And, 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 and will end up giving you the wrong answer. When they go to the wrong places, the wrong world, <laughs> the wrong people, to find out who you are, they'll, tell, they'll give you the wrong answers as to who you are. So the first question is, who am I? Who am I? Okay, so the second question now, we're going to go on. Where am I from? Question number two is, where am I from? This question has to do with source. This is not a source of ethnicity or nationality, but of, but after creation, but of creation. What's your source? Who's your source? Who created you? In other words, who or what is the source of your creation? Who created you? Again, don't go to the world to seek the answer because they don't. They will give you the wrong answer. Go to God for the truth, you know. So we all need to find to find out the truth about ourselves by going to the to, to the source. We'll talk about more again in depth with these questions. I'm just introducing this topic tonight, and over the next few days we'll go in more depth to talk about each one of these questions. Question number three: Where am I, why am I here? Why am I here? Now this question has to do with purpose. What is your purpose in life? Why were you born? What were you born to do? What's your purpose in life? You know, that's a kind that's a kind, kind of, that's one of the questions a lot of people ask and don't know the answer to. You ask you go on the street and ask people, what's your purpose? A lot you find the majority of people Average people out there don't know what their purpose in life is. They don't know. They don't know. And that's very, very sad because we all we we all should know what's our purpose in life, what we're here to do, what we were born to do. We all have purpose. There's no such thing as a, a life without purpose. There's no such thing as a life without a purpose. You might not know what that purpose is, but you have a purpose for being here. There is a reason you are here and I'm here. There's a reason why we are here. We're not just here just to work and pay bills and you know have families, have kids, kids grow up and grow old and die and go to the grave. No, there's more to our life than that. We are. We all have a purpose in life. We all ha are, are here to do something specific to the honor and the glory of God. So what is your purpose? Why are you here? Why am I here? The questions of the heart, the question concerning our purpose in life. The fourth question, question number four. What can I do? What can I do? This question has to do with potential or ability. The answer to this question will help you live your life to the maximum. 
when you can answer this question what can i do and you know what you can do you know your gifts and your talents and your abilities when you know those things when you, and when you work on yourself work on developing these gifts talents and abilities you work on it to get better at it when you when you're good at it then then you can live your life to the maximum because you're putting all your gifts and talent and ability your your potential to work and i've talked about potential numerous time on this so we're, we're going to talk about this too getting to talk about what is potential what is your potential and my potential so we're going to talk about this so what can i do the question of potential what's my potential and you know what you and i are full of potential we are loaded with it we are full of potential you know god made everything with potential give it the potential to fulfill its purpose we can talk with i've talked about that to be there's a difference between purpose and potential we talk about that also talking into the difference between purpose and potential so question number five question number five where am i going where am i going now this question has to do with destiny What's your destiny in life? Until you are able to answer this question, your life is just existing. If you don't know where you are going, then any, then, the, then any road will take you there. And when you get there, you wouldn't know. <laughs> you should always know where in life you want to go. That's another, that's another sad thing about people. More, the majority of people not only do they do they don't that they don't know their purpose in life but they don't know where their life is headed they're just living a mundane life and going going through the same routine day in and day out you know just living life they're just existing and it is so sad so so sad so sad a state to be in i say they're just existing in life no, there's more to life than just existing. We should be living our life to the maximum, living our life to to the fullest, you know. But but again, if you don't know where you're going, your life should always have a a, a pre predetermined destination. You know, you have goals. That's where goals and dreams come comes into play. Having a goal and a dream, something to strive for, something to work towards, something that you want to accomplish in your life. You know, you always know where your life is heading. Just don't be like a ship on the open seas of life without any, you know, any compass. I don't want any sail. You just tossed to and fro by the winds and waves of the of the tide of life of the situations of life you know and that's what a lot of people's life are like they just they're just like a ship on the open seas of life and they just toss to and fro with the winds and the wave of life circumstances and situation that comes up and they're just being tossed around you know going to work and just doing it you know just living life with this existing that's not having any real purpose or real destination in life just living life aimlessly so and you can't live like that that's not how god intended for us to live our lives we cannot continue living our lives like that we need to have a destination as a, something that we're aiming our we're aiming our life to you know so let's have let's know where am i going question of the heart where am i going where are you going what's your destination in life you know i i i want to i want to live a, a, a go and i have a destination i want to go and i have a i want to leave a legacy in this life so so the question of the questions of the heart the questions of life questions we're going to talk about all of these questions individually in the next few days. Each, get a topic and talk, get each one of these topics and talk about them. So, just a quick recaps of the questions. Question number one, who am I? This question has to do with your destiny. 
no sorry with your identity sorry this question had to do with your identity so question number two where am i from where am i from this question has to do with your source what's your source who's your source and i'm telling you it's not it's not evolution <laughs> you didn't evolve you know anyway not gonna get into that. anyways so who's your source what's your source question number three why am i here why am i here this question has to do with your purpose the question has to do with your purpose and what question number four what can i do what can i do the question dealing with your potential what's your potential you know we can talk about that i want <laughs> this is one of the topics we want to get into but so i want to just jump in to get into those these questions but I just want to introduce it this topic to you today and I will over the next few days talk about them in more in depth question number five where am I going where am I going where are you going question has to do with your destiny your destiny or your destination in life where are you going where am I going where are we going you know so we'll talk more about this as I said before we'll take each of these questions individually over the next few days and we're going to talk about them in more in depth and um, come with some really good answers <laughs> for these questions okay so thank you again thank you again everyone for joining me I'm um, so appreciate you taking the time to watch my live video tune in for the next few days when we talk more in depth with these questions I hope I said something that's inspire you motivate you um, move you in some way shape or form that this is something that I said that will help you hope you got something out of this I, I I'm sure I sure did um, tune in again as I said tune in again for the next come watch the next live videos for the next few days coming up we'll talk more of these questions more in depth and hope you you join me then um, again I ask you to do those three things for me one is like these videos two is share these videos and three Please leave a comment on these videos and I want to hear or need to hear. I would appreciate your feedback. You telling me, you know, what you think of this these videos. So please leave a comment and share these videos. Again, the reason why I ask you to share these videos because I want to get these videos in front of many people, as many people as possible, and I need your help to do that. So the more you share, the more people is exposed to people. So I appreciate you helping me with that. Until then, this is Robert Harley saying good night. God bless you. I love you. Peace.